And you're back with another another lesson. Uh, basically, just going into uh, this video. I'm gonna play. Then I'm gonna get some scriptures, and um, hopefully, it'll be edifying. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start this video by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, a great millstone, and taught me this truth. Shalom to you, Akim and Akwak, that believe and have faith in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in these last days. Um, I'm gonna play the video, then we're gonna get some scriptures. Y'all paying attention to what's going on with Kanye West? Now y'all should know that y'all Israelite. He just exposed everybody. Now y'all know y'all Israelite. Know how you know that? Y'all see they taking shit from me? How you go from over six billion dollars to four hundred million overnight? How you do that? They let you know, bro. You're Israelite. Cause guess what? When you say you African American, they don't do that to you. When you say you Muslim, they don't do that to you. When you say you from Egypt, they don't do that to you. Now you know where you're from. Same thing that Kenneth said. This is the same thing he went through. He didn't expose everybody. The proof is in the pudding. They take the shit from him every day. Or something. Man, where the rappers at? All the people he done did songs with, man. Where the niggas at? Where all the real rappers at that say they street niggas and they say they for the culture. Where the niggas at? I'm not saying this ain't happening, but I ain't hear one rapper publicly come out and say uh, they standing where you at. Where the niggas at? All the real gangsters, all the street niggas, all the ones that you think for the coach. He is supposed to everybody, not just the face, dude. Yeah, as you see, um, that Jake was basically telling you that, um, you know, I don't want to say his name, um, but for the most part, he exposed that uh, when you say that you are um, biblically the people of the Bible, you are uh, persecuted and ridiculed for, for claiming to be that, uh, which the proof is in the pudding. If anybody leaves the scriptures, it clearly shows you uh, and tells you who we are and where we came from and why we're in this condition. And uh, this is nothing um, wicked about saying that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we are not Negroes and we are not African-Americans. We are not um, Hispanics. Uh, Mexicans and all the bywords, man, that uh, came with those uh, those names. We are the true children of Israel, man. This is Amos three, and I'm gonna get um go start at verse one. It says, "Hear this word that Yahweh Bashem Yahushas hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth." Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, man. So no other nation is getting punished for their iniquities, man. And iniquities goes into sin. Nobody get, gets punished for their sins because nobody was given the law, statutes, commandments with the children of Israel, which was given to the children of Israel by Moses. And I mean, I know pretty sure anybody that, that ever read the scriptures know Moses was a prophet and he was for the children of Israel. He was sent only to the children. We basically like he wasn't sent to the children. He was an Israelite. He was um, in the uh, hierarchy in Egypt, man. He was one of the Pharaoh's sons. Um, I mean, you can get that. You can get that. Uh, get that account in uh, Genesis. But I just want to pull out a couple scriptures. Just lead. Let's basically going into who we are. The Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the children of Israel, man. From your various tribes. This is Isaiah 63. And I'm just going to get the point down in verse 19. It says, We are thine, thou never bearest rule over them. So the Lord telling you, um, basically Isaiah was saying that um, you never ruled over any other nations, man. You have never ruled over any heathen nations, only the children of Israel. As we just read in uh, Amos uh, 3 verse 1, it says, out of all the families of the earth, the Lord only knew us. It says, we are thine, thou never bearest rule over them, they were not called by thy name. So the Lord gave us names, and he put his name on us. So uh, Israel is Yasharali in the Hebrew, man. That means prince of the power. So the Lord gave the, that name, he put that name on us. As being princes of him, being princes of the most high power, you how about Shimia was shy. So is is nothing um wrong with saying we're Israelites, man. 
if if if, if it's an issue with it with it with it being said, then somebody is guilty of um um of being an imposter. Because we was never told this in, in America. The Lord woke us up to know this truth through the apostles and elders of Great Billstone and, you know, and their teachers as well. But this is uh, uh, Hosea 1 verse 10. It says, yet the number of the children, and yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. So it's it's a, a great number of Israelites, man. You can't put a number on it, man. And then when when they did, when King David put a number on the children of Israel, he was punished, man. So it says, verse 10, it says, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. So nobody can number sand on a, on a beach, which cannot be measured nor numbered. See that? You can't number the children of Israel, man. So why is it an issue with somebody saying we are the children of Israel? Why, why is that an issue? Somebody feels guilty, man. Somebody is guilty of being an imposter. Uh, Slaki, let me get back to it. It says, um, verse 10, it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. So what we said that we was not uh, the people of the Lord. That's here in Babylon and Great America. So this is a this is a prophecy that was going to come to pass that we would be waking up in the in the land of our captivity. It says, um, still in verse ten, it says that uh, that uh, that in the place where it was said unto them, "Ye are not my people," there it shall be said unto them, "Ye are the sons of the living power." So here. We woke up to the truth in America. We was bring, brung to on cargo slave ships, man. We was brung over here in uh, captivity to serve a judgment, serve a punishment. In um, Deuteronomy 28, from 15 on down to 68, it explains the curses that we was going to be under to be basically to, to let you know who are the children of Israel and who who is is serving this judgment. Oh, you how about Shimei Alshai? Uh, verse 11, it says, then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel, the northern and southern kingdom, be gathered together. So we are gathered together here in the land of, um, of our captivity, man. The northern and the southern kingdoms for the Hispanic and Native Americans down to the Negroes, man. The northern and southern kingdoms gathered together and appoint themselves one head and they shall come up out of the land and great shall be the day of Jezreel. And that's what's happening, man. The Lord is raising us up. And gather us together to be able to uh, come out of this, um, come out of this captivity, man. And our one head is going to be King David, which we believe is going to be raised up, and that goes into that in, uh, Jeremiah thirty. But um, we are, uh, we are um, basically being uh, resurrected here in in, 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 in in our captivity, man. Right before the eyes of our enemies, man. This is uh, Romans nine. I'm just going to jump down to verse. Uh, 25 it says as he saith also in hosea i will call them my people which were not my people so in a place we just read in hosea where it was said that we were not the lord's people there will it you know we will, we will be resurrected in other words as he saith also in as oseas which is hosea's i will call them my people which were not my people. And and Slakia. There was not my people. And and her beloved, which was not beloved. And that's talking about us. We was cast we was castaways here, man. We was treated like um garbage, man. We still are. It says, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living power. So here in America, Babylon the Great, man, we are called by the living power again, man. We are we have been resurrected. It goes in those um uh those um uh, Ezekiel thirty seven, those uh dead the those dead those dead bones. We are we are being resurrected, man. The flesh is coming back on us. Verse twenty seven said, um Isaiah 
also cried concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as a sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. So it's only a certain of uh, the hopeful elect is going to be saved. It's only going to be a remnant is going to be saved of the children of Israel. Not all Israel going to be saved, man. But all Israel are going to be saved uh, for the kingdom. That's uh, Romans um, 11, 26. That all the children of Israel are going to, going to be able to uh, inherit the, the kingdom of heaven. But and it, at this time that the Lord is coming and returning, all the children of Israel are not going to be saved. Man. Only a remnant is going to be saved. So that's why we call it out for our... Um, our fellow Israelites from from the various tribes to repent and come back into this truth, man. Call on the name Yahweh, the Father, and Yahweh Shah, the Son, because when the Lord brings this judgment, it's not going to be able. You're not going to be able to get this truth, man, because he's going to he's going to take us off the internet. We already know that he's going to take us off the highways and byways. We already know that. But this is the time to repent. This is the time to call on Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, because. The judgment is, is looming close, man. They are already, you know what I'm saying? They already are um are um striking up that um World War Three, the Battle of Armageddon in the in the Middle East, man. So this is the time to repent. This is Hosea eleven, and I'm gonna start at verse one. It says, When Israel was a child, then I loved him. This is now, and called him my son out of Egypt. So the Lord took us out of Egypt, man. That's how. That's another way you can see that the, the curses in Deuteronomy 28 refer to us. Verse 2, it says, as they called them, so they went from them. See that? Verse 2 again, it says, as they called them, so they went from them. They sacrificed unto Balaam and burnt incense to graven images. See, our people is only people that go after other gods, man, because we only had one God. The heathen nation can go after any god. The graven images they they, they promote and um, put on our, on our people are um, like us. I'll give you an example. Like Christianity, you got the so-called white Jesus. Um, Catholic Church go to the southern of uh, the northern kingdom. So all these philosophies and different gods they push on us, but the children of Israel only had one God, and that was Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That was the only God we had. And those graven images that we had was crosses, um, pictures of Cesar Borgir, the so-called white man, the so-called Jesus that they have in all the churches. And a lot of a lot of our people have them in their in their um in their houses. So those uh, images that, that they gave to us is also an example of us being the children of Israel, man. Because all the other nations had uh, had their gods, they worshiped, they didn't have any punishment coming on them. No record of any punishment coming on any any other nation in the history of the world that they worship. You you can't find it. They wouldn't they wouldn't um but now Esau Edom had took on the Bible, so he will be he will be recommended uh recommended. <laughs> it's like <laughs> he will be punished by the words of this book. So he he's he's definitely got a judgment coming because he took on the he took on the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And he's in, he's dwelling in our land now. Esau Edom. The head tribe Amalek is dwelling in the land of um, Israel now. This is um, Hosea 14, and I'm going to start at verse 1 again. It says, O Israel, return unto your how by Shem Shah, thy power. And that's what we're doing on the highways and byways. We, we, we proclaiming the Lord's return. we ushering in the Lord, and we're asking our people to return before it's too late. O Israel, return unto your how by Shem Shah, thy power. For thou hast fallen by thy iniquity. So we have fallen by our sins. Take with take with you words and turn to Yahweh by Shem Shah. Say unto him, take away all iniquity. And that's what we're praying for, man. The men of the Lord, the hopeful elect, the rib that is going to be saved is uh, asking the Lord to take away our iniquities. He says, and receive us graciously. So will we render the calves of our lips. Assure shall not save us. So no, no, no other nation is going to save us, man. No other people is going to save us. We will not ride up on horses. So we're not going to ride up on horses out of here. We're going to be actually beamed out of here. That's Revelations 11, I think 11 and 12. It says, neither will we say any more to the work of our hands. We are gods. So we ain't going to depend on ourselves anymore, man. 
You know how these people say, oh, you, you can pull, you can do it, man. You, you, you are God. We're gods. Yeah, we're gods, but we're not going to be able to, to, um, to take this, this, the, 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 basically the judgment that the Lord is going to bring. You're not going to be able to say you escaped it out of your own power. In other words, to make it plain, because we are gods. We're going to go back to a godlike state, but in this society, we are not gods, man. We're, 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 we're basically, we're, we're heathens in the, in the eyes of the Lord, man. Well, the hopeful elect has wake, waken up to the truth and came back to our state of mind, man. Came back in our, 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 um, our um, lot to um, be claimed again by Yahweh by Shem Shah. But you know how people be saying all, what you call those uh, Kemet, Kemet guys, uh, these Christians, all of them say that we are God. We did this by ourselves. We, they're not called on the name of the power of Yahweh by Shem Shah. So the Lord is, is, is looking for the true worshipers and the true believers, man. It says, ye are gods, for in thee the fatherless find mercy. So we are not going to be able to look to, towards pastors and all these different people that hold a uh, office in the society and claim to be uh, um, a man of the Lord. They're, they're not going to be able to. They're not going to be able to claim that anymore, man. This is all. To, this is all to the Lord's doing, man. Because basically, we have to repent. We have to repent and come back to you. How about Shem Shah? This is Romans 9. The Apostle Paul was saying it itself. This is Romans 9. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, uh, verse 1, it says, I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren. So, the, uh, so Apostle Paul said, I will, I will wish ourselves was a curse from the Lord, man, for his people, man. It says, my kinsmen according to the flesh. So he's talking about that he, want he was wanting to be a curse for his people. You know what I'm saying? According to his kin. Verse 4, it says, who are Israelites? So Apostle Paul wasn't talking about being a curse for anybody else. He wasn't talking about being a curse for no, no, no heathens, no Moabites, no Edomites. Um, the head try Amalek. You can, you can't. He, he's, he's not saying that, man. He said for his people, who are Israelites. That's a that's a possessive statement, man. To whom the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of power and the promises. It was only given to one group of people, man. So the Lord is the Lord is racist. Because the Apostle Paul just said he was racist, man. He, he, only, he only talking about one group of people. He made it plain. Who are Israelites? Who, who was given the law? Who was a, given the, who was the, the adoption, which bringing us, bringing us back to that mindset of knowing who we are because we lost the Lord's name and lost who we was as a people. So the, the so Apostle Paul was telling you that the promises and the service of power, what's the service of power? It's being saved. We can look, we can look all these words up, man. I don't want to make the, the video long, but this this is easy. This is common sense. This is plain. Verse five it says, "Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came." So the Lord only came for one group of people, man. He only came for the children of Israel, man. So our people need to repent before it's too late, man. Verse five again it says. Who are, whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Hamashiach came, which Christ has been anointed. Hamashiach in the Hebrew means anointed. Who is over all power blessed forever. Amen. So we're going to get to who the Lord was birthed. He was, he was, he was, he only came for one people. And that's what Apostle Paul just said. This is uh, Matthews 21. Let me slock it. Matthews 1, verse 21. I'm going to start at verse 20. It says, But while he thought on those, slock it, on these things, behold, the angel of the Most High appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, unto us of David, fear not, and take unto thee, Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahawashah. Jesus doesn't mean anything, man. You can look that up in the, in the, in the Hebrew, in the, in the Greek. Jesus doesn't mean anything. 
His name was Yahweh Shah. Means he saves, he delivers. It says, uh, it says, for he shall save his people from their sins. His people. And he shall save his people. I mean, that's plain, man. So Apostle Paul, <laughs> he knew this for a fact that um, Yahweh Shah was coming back to save his people. He wasn't talking about everybody, man. And this is nothing to nothing to be a, a mad about, man. He just you just if you're not an Israelite, you just wasn't chosen. I mean, I'm, I'm I've been I remember growing up and um, playing basketball and shit. You know what I'm saying? I remember not getting picked on a team. I remember trying out and didn't make it. Shit. <laughs> It wasn't nothing bad about it. Shit, I just had to wait till next year. But but with this right here, you can't wait till next year, man. It's a bloodline. You was either given the bloodline, you was not. And I mean, it's just it's just the 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 the, the facts. And uh, you can't be no, you can't be mad at but nobody but the Most High. <laughs> the Lord said He's gonna do His will. This is a uh, Romans ten verse one. It says, "Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is." So why, why would Apostle Paul continue to, to uh, harp on Israel, the Israelites? Why would he keep saying that? Because he knew for a fact the Lord only was coming for the children of Israel, man. That's throughout the entire scriptures. I'm going to read it again. It says, brother, my heart's desire and prayer to the most high for Israel. Israel is a, a people before it's a place. It says, for the most high for Israel is that they might be saved. Did he say everybody? He said that they, they might, they, slock it, that they might be saved. That was his, that was his uh, prayer. So why would Apostle Paul only want to pray for these, these certain people, man? That's why we keep telling you, do you, do you, I hate to label you as a two third man, but if you ain't welcome to the truth, you definitely a two third man, because this is the time the Lord is finna come, man. It's so much stuff going on, man. It's clear, it's clear cut, man. The Lord is coming back, man, and He's coming back for these certain certain people. And if you haven't repented and came back to this truth, man, you're gonna be you're gonna be treated like a heathen, man. Verse two, it says, "For I bear them record." So the Lord, so Apostle Paul keeps saying, "I'm bearing them record, man." Why is Apostle Paul saying he bearing them record? He says, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. He's talking about the children of Israel. Because our people go to church. They are naturally spiritual, man. Our people are naturally spiritual. They naturally are nice and, and loving and kind. Um, but Apostle Paul was saying they have a zeal of God. Which they do, you know what I'm saying? You go to these churches, these people pray and they think they're speaking in tongues, they're doing something, all this. They think they have a, a knowledge of the most high, but they don't, man. It's all in vain what they do. So the Apostle Paul knew that these people was going to be like this. In this time, in the last days. It's for, he says, verse 3 it says, For they, being ignorant of the most high's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, and our people do establish their own righteousness, man. Like I did a video yesterday um, about the um, pastor in Atlanta, man. He wants to grow weed and teach young men um, to grow and, and um, um, grow weed and basically make an income. But he's, he's establishing his own righteousness, man. Because, um, I mean, that, that right there, I ain't going to even get into it, but that right there is wickedness in itself, man, because you're going to teach these people, man, how to smoke, man. You're going to teach these people to smoke. To smoke more than what they is because they're gonna think it's of God. See that and that's why I say they teach they, they have their own righteousness. It says, um, it says, verse three again, it says, For they being ignorant of the uh, of the most high's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not a, not have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the most high. So they have not uh, submitted themselves to the most high, man. Our people think that, they, that the Lord is with them, the Lord bless them, God is with me, God, this, and they don't got a clue. And the Lord's name is not God, it's Yahweh and the Yahweh Shah. Those labels and titles they give uh, give the Most High, but his name, he has a surname, and that's Yahweh being the Father, and the Son being Yahweh Shah. Verse 4 says, For Hamashiach is the end of the law, for righteousness to everyone 
that believeth. And that's the ones that believe on your how about Shimei Al Shai. Not no other, not no other gods, man. The Lord is only establishing his law in the hearts of the servants of the Most High. This is Romans 11, and I'm going I'm to just start at verse 1. It says, I say then, have power cast away his people? That's a question mark. God forbid. That means no. He says, this is Apostle Paul again. Apostle Paul telling you plain and clear that he's for the Israelites, man. He says, for I also am an Israelite. So why would Apostle Paul um, talk about these Israelites if he wasn't an Israelite? <laughs> You had doctors saying Apostle Paul was somebody. He was an Italian. He said he was a he was a citizen, but he was not a, a, a so called Edomite man. He wasn't a, a, a actual Italian that you would see as a so called white man. No, he said he was he said for I also am an Israelite. So you're gonna have you're gonna have Israelites looking like every other nation. But this guy, he was. Um, I'm gonna continue to read. He says, let me start over, man, just in case somebody somebody can. <laughs> I got it on the screen, so shit. You can read it for yourself. But uh, verse 1, it says, I say then, have power cast away his people? Power forbid. For I also am an Israelite. For the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. So the tribe of Benjamin will be um, a so-called Jamaican or like a so-called you know, island islander, which uh, are, are, are from the tribe of Benjamin. Um, I would say Jamaica because it's it's a it's a common name. You you, uh, you got um uh Jake uh, Jakes will be down in um um the the uh, Bahamas and, that, and around those areas. They those are the Benjamites, man. So if Apostle Paul was living today, he would be a so he would be in in, in the scriptures. He'd be a so called Benjamite. Verse two it says for 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 hath not lock you power hath not cast away his people which he foreknew. So the Lord foreknew us from the beginning. Would ye not what the scriptures say in Isaiah's, how he make an intercession to the most high power against Israel saying, Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars. And I am left alone and they seek my life. So back then the, the two thirds seek the Lord, uh, seek the prophet's life. They killed the prophets. So, so these people, um, and, uh, I would say, like so-called, um, so-called Edomites, man. Where is their, um, where is their uh, prophets? Who was their prophets? Because they can't, they can't claim the prophets of the scriptures. Only Israelites wrote the Bible. How can they claim to have a a a, a, a prophet that came out of um, uh, out of the scriptures? They can't claim nobody, man. This book was only given to the children of Israel, man. It was only given to the uh, the Tokra Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So they can't claim to have um, dug down the uh, altars. The, the only prophet they can say they had was uh, what's his name? Shit, uh, what Nick? Not Nicodemus. What Nick? Not it's like it. Um, what's that guy they have? They always put out to have all those uh prophecies they say he do from twenty twenty three and all that shit. Um. I think it's uh Nostradamus. That's his name. God damn. Yeah, Nostradamus. That's the only prophet they can claim. <laughs> that's the only prophet they can claim. But he ain't a prophet. He ain't in the scriptures. He ain't, he ain't telling them something that we already knew through the scriptures. Verse 4 it says, But what saith the answer of power unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. So the Lord has as men set up on earth that's not going to bow to the image of Baal. And that's the system of Esau, man. His, his, his new NWO, you know, I don't want to get my video strike, man, but the NWO he, he's setting up, you have men that the Lord is going to be with that they won't, they won't bow to his image. And that goes back to Revelation 13, 16 through 18. Verse 5, it says, Even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. So it's a remnant, a remnant the hopeful elect, that the, by grace the Lord is not going to let them bow to, to the image of Esau, Edom. And the whole, and Lord willing, I'm a part of that, that, that elk. Because the time is, 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 is here, man. I think in um, Nigeria, they just had, um, 
made it where they only can um use slocking. They only can withdraw two hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred and twenty five dollars out of the bank a week. So that's gonna be that's gonna be they said that and, and then they want them to use alternative uh income. Not income, but uh, alternative money, uh, such as uh, your credit cards, your crypto money. So they setting it up for the B system. It's all set up, so you you're not going to be able to escape the uh, the clutches of Esau Edom unless the Lord is with you. This is Amos five, and I'm starting verse one. It says, "Hear ye this word which I take up against you, even a lamentation, O house of Israel." The virgin of Israel is fallen. She shall no more rise. She is forsaken upon her land. There is none to raise her up. So the Lord is only going to raise the children of Israel up, man. I think it's in Genesis 49. But he said, who will raise him up? Only the Lord is going to raise you up. Only the Lord is going to be with you in this time that's coming, man. And that's why we kind of we make these videos. We make an emphasis of, of waking up the children of Israel. And we already know two thirds are not going to wake up, man. There's nothing we can do, but you cannot say you didn't know. And that's why we do these lessons. That's why we go on the highways and byways because we are the example of um, of Daniel, um, not Daniel, but Jonas. The Lord said you only have a um, the only sign you will get will be Jonas the prophet, and a man of the Lord on the highways and byways are that 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 uh, sign. So everyone is going to can everyone is going to be able to um, see. The prophets out there on the highways and byways. Verse 5 it says, For thus said Yahweh Bashem Yahweh power, the cities that went out by a thousand shall leave a hundred, and that which went forth by a an hundred shall leave ten and a uh, slocking to the house of Israel. <coughs> slocking. <sighs> My back. Um, Amos verse four, five verse four. It says, "For thus said Yahweh by Shemiah shot unto the house of Israel, seek ye me, and ye shall live." So all the all these just basically telling you these people have went away from the Lord by a hundred, by a thousand, by a hundred, and now by ten. Only the hopeful elect is going to make it, man. That's a small remnant. A small remnant going to make it out of this destruction that's coming. And that is his judgment is coming. Let's get this real quick. John, I'm going to wrap it up. A couple more and I'm going to wrap it up. This is John. Excuse me. John 14. And I'm going to drop down to verse 6. It says, Yahweh say, let me start at, um, let's start at 5. But I just want to get the point in, in, in 6 and 7. But let me start at 5. Thomas saith unto him, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh we know not whether thou goest and how can we know the way? Check this out. Yahweh shall say it unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So the Lord telling you, the Thomas, basically the interaction between Yahweh Shai and Thomas. And, and, and Thomas said, We don't how would we know? So we telling you the way that the Yahweh Shai just told Timothy, the way is to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. The father being Yahweh. Son being Yahweh Shai. That's the way. Just like he told Timothy, man. We the example with the Yahweh Shai just told Timothy, we are telling him telling you the same thing. It says, No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So the only way to get saved from what's coming is through Yahweh Shai. There's no other way. So if you put all your 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 um what you call it, all your um what they say? What they say? Put all your um. Damn. What's that? What's that saying? They always say. I always be forgetting shit when I ain't come to my mind. But they always say, uh, put all your co coins in a basket. Something to that effect, man. It don't really matter. I just want to make an example, man. But put your all your stock in your how about Shem Yahusha, man. You ain't gonna fail, man. If I, when all hell break loose, man, you only gonna have you you're only gonna have one thing to do, man. Is that's to call on the Lord. Nobody, I just read it earlier that nobody's going to be able to do this by their own hands, man. Nobody's going to be able to call be called gods in, in this in this time, because you remember Moses wasn't able to go into Promised Land because he did not give Yahweh shot of credit. Yahweh, why Yahweh shot of credit for giving the children of Israel water? So the Lord is is telling you now that you're not going to you're not going to be able to escape this judgment that's coming unless you give 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh of credit. So the Lord, the Lord has got to show his power again, man, to let these people know that he is a true living power. Verse 7, it says, if ye had not, Slaki, if ye knew me, ye should know, Slaki, let me read that again. Let me slow down, man. I get excited, man. He says, if ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. So that's why we say the names together. We say the names together, Yahweh, Bahashem, in the name, Yahweh Shai. He says, if ye had known me, ye should know, Shalaki, ye should have known my father also. And from this, from henceforth, ye know him and have seen him. So we have seen Yahweh, why Yahweh, we've seen the father through Yahweh Shai. Even though we haven't seen Yahweh Shai, we see him through the spirit, man. We know that the Lord is with us. And we see him through the spirit. We can see him through the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? And people, you know, well, how are you going to see him through the spirit? Man, we see him through the scriptures, man. We can read We can read and know this is our power, man. A so-called so -called black man from the tribe of Judah, man. We can see it through the scriptures, man. And that's how you know this. this the, 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 the scriptures have became a movie in your mind. You can see like, damn, this is, this is boom, boom. This is what we did. We can see it, man. We can visualize it it's like a movie that's played out through the scriptures, man. And this is the Lord's movie. And we seeing it being played out right before our eyes, man. This is John, um, jump over to 15, John 15. And he's only chosen men to get this understanding. Verse 13, I'm going to start at. It says, greater love have no man. It's like it. John 15, verse 13. It says, greater love have no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. And that's what we're doing, man. We've laid down our life for, for the hopeful elect and for you he, for, for you two-thirds, man. Because we put it all, we risking our life to bring this truth to you, man. When all hell break loose, the Esau gonna want to come after the man of the Lord first. He don't care about you uh two-thirds because you're no you're not a threat. We are a threat through the spirit, man, because they know that it, when you touch the man of the Lord, the Lord is gonna be with them. So that's the reason why we're a threat. And we're laying our life down for our friends. It's like Apostle Paul, what he said, he wasn't talking about just two or three Israelites. He was talking about the whole nation. He said he wished himself was a curse for his people, man. He was talking about everybody, man. So that's what we're saying through the spirit. We, we're laying our life down for our friends, and that's for our people, man. Just like Apostle Paul said, he wished himself was a curse for his people. 14, it says, ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. And we're doing the Lord's will, man. We're doing what the Lord commanded us to do. 15, he said, henceforth, I will call you not servants. Because we look at ourselves as servants of the Lord, because we're doing what the Lord say do. But as we continue on and lay down our life of, for, um, for our friends, we are not the Lord's servants anymore. He says, for servants know not what the Lord doeth. The men of the Lord know what the Lord doing, man. It's all through the spirit, man. I, I, I don't got no brother's phone numbers. I ain't calling no brothers. And, hey, look here, what, what the Lord doing? No, I don't got nobody's number, man. I'm, I'm by myself, man, just through the spirit. Oh, you how about Shimmy Shah? We connect to other brothers, man, just through the spirit, man. I ain't got no brother's numbers. I don't know no brothers. It's just through the spirit, man. That's how you know this is the truth, man, 100% truth. I don't got no brother's numbers, man. This is solo, 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 solo dolo, as they said back in the day. And that's how we know it's all spiritual, man. This is nothing we can do at our own power, man. This is all spiritual, and I say the water you have by Shimei Al Shaba wake me up to this truth, man, because this is 100% truth. Verse 15, it says, Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what, you have, what, what his Lord doeth, but I call you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you, and that the Lord has. The Lord has made known unto us everything. And, and you know what I'm saying? It's countless things you can name, but doing the name of the Lord is the most important thing that we would teach teach someone. Father in law, statute of commandments is second. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, being able to call on the Lord and have that connection with the Lord, that's the first thing. Then follow the law, statute of commandments. Because you, you can't, you're not going to be able to follow, follow the law, statute of commandments and make it on that chariot. You're going to have to know the Lord's name because there's plenty of scriptures tell you, you got to call on my name. And that's going to these other camps that don't call on the name and playing with the Lord's name, man. I fear the Lord's name, man. I fear the Lord. So that name is, I, I hold very dear to myself, man. 
um, verse 16, it says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. And that's how you become a, a man of the Lord, man. The Lord had to choose you and ordain you. Not these pastors. Oh, yeah, I was ordained. and No, you weren't ordained. You weren't ordained, man. You ain't even, you don't even know this scripture right here I'm reading. So the Lord has chosen the men of the Lord and ordained us that ye should go, go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of my of, of the father in my name, he may give it you. So we asking for the Lord in his name, man. So how you, uh, oh man, it's, it's, so many, it's so many lessons you can do just off this scripture right there alone. You know, so I'll be, like these other, see the other groups that don't call on the name of the Lord. G O C C I U I C. Um, that's a name, just them two. You know what I'm saying? But how are you going to be able to call? How are you going to ask the Lord of anything? Uh, to say protection in that day, or to be able to eat in that day? How are you going to be able to call get, get any food if you don't call on the uh, name of the Lord, man? You ain't going to be able to call on the Lord Christ, high blood, all that, man. You ain't going to be able to call on that, man. That's madness, man. You got to be able to call on your how about Shimmy how shy. You ain't going to be able to call on the most high Christ. Oh, man, that's crazy, man. 17, it says, these things I command you that ye love one another. And that's the brotherhood. Like I said, I don't got no brothers done, but I love them brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? They doing the will of how about Shimmy how shy. I can't, I can't say nothing bad about them. You know what I'm saying? I say the water of y'all by Shimei Al Shabbat have blessing me with brothers that know they have and believe they have this truth just like I have it. And they believe just like I believe. Last one. I'm gonna wrap this lesson up. Just going into, man. It's a time to repent, man, and come back to you how about Shimei Al Shah. Uh what I want to get Jude. I'm just gonna get this right here. Jude 5. It says. Jude 1 and verse 5, it says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how Yah that Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, having saved the people, the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. So the Lord saved the children of Israel, and I, and I believe all the children of Israel didn't make it out of there because they didn't believe. That when their Passover came, they didn't believe that, that Moses was telling the truth. They didn't make it. But that's that's off on another tangent, man. But for the most part, that's what we're telling you, man. We're coming in the same mindset of if you don't repent now before the Lord come, you're going to be destroyed, man. And I'm going to read that one more time. It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance. So the Lord is putting us in remembrance to remember that we are Israelites. Remember the Lord's name, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Though ye once knew this so we once knew this in our in the ancient time man more likely in the, in the land of egypt <laughs> just where it's going into it says how that yahweh by shimmy having saved the people out of the land of egypt afterward destroyed them that believe not and that's you know that's, that's, the, that's the egyptians you know what i'm saying I ain't gonna break another doctrine and all that all we're gonna put it right there man because he said he afterward he destroyed them that believed not. So anyone that believed didn't make it. So I'm gonna end it there, Lord, when it was edifying, shalom.